What is this place? Where am I? The man stood in the street, seemingly talking to himself. His eyes were glazed over unnaturally. His arms extended to the sides of him, as if balancing himself on some precarious ledge. Oh God, what is that? He turned his head and pointed into the distance. A crowd started to slowly gather around him. Hey, hey, you okay? Who's that? I, I hear you, but I, I, I can't see you. What's, what's going on? You need help? It, it, it's, it's like a dream, a nightmare, but too real. The wind and the smell, rotting, garbage, and death. Do you need help? I, I can't feel the ground. I can't feel anything. It's slippery. The man's body lifted into the air as he screamed and flailed, feet above the ground. He came crashing down with a dull thud. His body, broken and bent, as if he'd fallen thousands of feet. Welcome back. On tonight's show, we have Death Knight from Raid Shadow Legends. A big hello from Death Knight. Let's cut to the chase. We're here to find out about the new ultimate Death Knight, your replacement. Let's uh, change the conversation, huh? Come on, Death Knight. No! You're under contract. Oh, I hate to say this, but uh, during this Death Knight hunt event, you can get ultimate Death Knight for free. And how long is this available for? All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and October 27, and you'll get Ultimate Death Knight for free. Break it down for us. Brass Tax, big special event happening right now in Raid to give away Ultimate Death Knight. Hey, want to instantly upgrade any legendary champion to level 50, five-star ascension? Just use the code DK Rises. Click my link in the description or scan my QR code for $30 of unique bonuses, including Epic Champion Ina, 200,000 Silver, 1 Energy Refill, 1 XP Boost, and an Ancient Shard. All this good stuff will be waiting for you in your inbox. Thanks, Death Knight. Bye! I'll miss you. Roadkill. What? This guy looks like Roadkill. Well, not quite. He, he's more like a high altitude impact. He's crushed. Suicide? Doesn't seem to be. It happened in front of a small group of people. Which building? That's just it. He was only feet off the ground. Eh? He floated feet off the ground as if he was falling, then hit the ground, causing significant trauma. Dead on impact. That's odd. Any strange objects or encounters? From what the bystander said, he was just walking along and came to a stop. He reported seeing strange things. Like a trance. Except he was able to communicate with the people around him while he was in that dream state. Seems like a pretty cold trail then. Not quite. This isn't the first case we've heard about, and we have statements from a few other people who have experienced similar things. The kicker is, they're still alive. I've picked up the subject. We're on our way back now. So you said this doctor will be able to help me? He's the best. He'll be able to get to the bottom of these... dreams of yours. Well, alright. I'm ready to try just about anything now. They're terrifying. Good afternoon, Miss Rayleigh. Thank you for coming in. This is a really odd place. It's a hospital, you say? Yes, kind of a special government research hospital. Would you mind standing over there? Kloss and the technician proceeded to place monitoring equipment on the lady. When do the... dreams start? It's random, I think, but a few times a day. Alright, we'll just wait and see then. An hour passed, when Chen noticed the woman's eyes begin to go cloudy. Hey, Doc, take a look. Her blank eyes looked around the room. Miss Rayleigh, are you in the dream world now? Yes, I'm here again. It's... Oppressive. The air, the buildings, something terrible has happened here. Can you describe what you see? Buildings. Massive metallic skyscrapers reaching kilometers into the sky. They're everywhere. They don't look like any city I've ever heard of. Where are you amongst the buildings? I'm on a platform. A suspension bridge. It's made of metal, too. I can't see clearly, and I can't feel anything. But this bridge is slippery. That's what happened to that guy. He must have slipped and fell off the bridge in his dream. 
Can you tell me what you see below? I can't see the ground. It goes on forever. These buildings are enormous. Please continue on. Wait, I see something. I'm going to walk towards it. Strange place. It's... it's a body. The smell and it's crushed and broken. What is that? It's huge. I can't go on anymore. Please make it stop. Okay, you can wake up now. It's over. You're safe. It's so horrible. That place. There's something very wrong with it. I understand. Thank you for coming in. You've helped us a lot. I'm gonna call another doctor in who'll give you something to calm you down. That was pretty creepy. I wonder what it is. We need to find someone who's willing to go in, to go further and explore that tower. One step ahead of you, there's a man in Australia who's volunteered to go further. Great, let's bring him in. Already on it. What's even better, he's an illustrator with an eidetic memory. Might be able to get some real details. Thank you for coming all this way. No worries. I was kind of find out what all this means. And you guys have been treating me real well. First class flight, five star hotel, fantastic. Glad to hear that. Uh, okay, shall we get started? Let's do it. Time passed slowly, but yet nothing was happening. How long does this usually take? Mate, if I knew you think we'd still be waiting around, it's random, but it'll happen. Fair dinkum. What? Ignore him, please. Moments later, the man's eyes began to cloud. Okay, it's starting. I'm on a bridge. Seems metallic. Huge skyscrapers everywhere. Everything seems destroyed and run down. Kind of an end-of-the-world apocalyptic scenario. I can see in the distance the tower. Is it far? far? Not too far, no. Reckon I can get there before the dream ends. There are planes too, but they have like six wings. There's a fair few of them. Please Please proceed. proceed. He walked along the metal pathway. The further he went, the worse the smell was. Oh, it's like decay and rot. Oh, it's awful. Oh, I see why now. Bodies. There are bodies everywhere. Twisted and bent. Split open, crushed. This is horrible. And the smell keeps getting worse. How How far far is is the tower tower now? Not far, but I don't know if I can go any further. Please, just a little further. (sighs) I'll try. I'm at the tower now, and it's getting worse than before. There's a spiral staircase going up, and I think... I think there are paintings on the walls. The whole way up is piled with bodies. I think I'm going to be sick. I understand, but but please keep keep going. going. That's That's why why you're you're here. here. Okay. Just one time. I'm at the first painting. Three figures. Two have spears, and it looks like two planets above with those planes I saw earlier. Beneath, some sort of people, they look happy, I guess, doing ordinary kind of stuff. Beneath them is some large blue figure, like a goddess, mother nature. Understood. Please Please proceed proceed to the the next next one. one. The sky is now red, and those planes, are they crashing? Those people look like they're in pain, and these red figures, There are red lines coming from their heads. The smell is getting worse. No more bodies, but the smell is worse. A little further, please. The blue planets, they're now red. And one is broken. Everyone, screaming. They're all red now. Beneath it, some kind of red monster. At the bottom, that blue goddess, protecting a... A priestess? That's very good. How many paintings remain? Just two, I think. Going to the next one. The goddess is protecting the priestess as she takes the children away, I think. They're leaving their home. The red creature is almost at the goddess now. I think they made it, but the goddess is left to fight the red. She, she, She's upside down. The red has her now. There's some sort of opening beneath her. And the red lines. They're going through it and attaching to more people. Very good. Continue to the last one, please. Oh my god. No. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. Let me out. 
Let me out! He came to, disorientated and confused. It's okay. You're safe. You're alive. Take him to a room, get him something to calm his nerves. Come take a look at this. They're the drawings of what he experienced in the dream. You see this? They were a happy civilization under the nurture of their goddess. They built planes and explored nearby planets. But what they found was a malevolent god. It came back with them somehow. It poisoned, tortured, and killed everyone. The goddess tried to save them, so she protected and sent a savior with the children to find a new home. They opened some sort of portal and left the goddess behind on their dying world. She fought the red as best she could, but succumbed to it. It seems like the red found or created another portal to spread its evil. What about the last picture? It's coming through now. Oh, oh my, my, to Chen? Get the amnestics here, stat. You're gonna need to take a shot. What? Why? Just trust me, take the shot. I need to speak to Lucius. Not again. Sir, I need to speak with you urgently. What is it, Kloss? This SCP we've been researching, it's an info hazard. We thought these people were having dreams or were witnessing another dimension. Everything destroyed, a dark tower at the end of it all, some unfathomable red evil came to this place and killed everything, including their deity who tried to save them. The tower was her message. She encrypted paintings on it. Paintings, because text explanations would trigger the info hazard. The, the drawings are safe, but, but this evil entity found a way out, a, a portal to Earth. It's coming, spreading through the human minds through dreams. Who else knows about this? Just Chen and me, and Chen is being amnesticized as we speak. Fine, fine. Will this info hazard even affect you? I, I need you to document this before I amnesticize myself. I'll handle it, but Kloss, amnestics don't work very well on you. They don't? No, it's a side effect of the process. Wait, how many times before? Never mind that now. Just come here and take a look at this. Kripke, I've got another job for you. SCP-3007, Object Class, Keter. SCP-3007-1 is a reoccurring hallucinogenic phenomenon, with new instances constantly emerging despite the Foundation's efforts at elimination. Currently, no method other than death has been proven effective in the prevention or discontinuation of SCP-3007-1. Dash 2 are individuals experiencing 3007-1. The description of Dash 3 is largely identical among subjects, but does not resemble any known place on Earth. Subjects are fully capable of physical movement, but report that they can only perceive reality through hearing and touch. As a result, subjects are capable of navigating Dash 3, while also maintaining communication with unaffected individuals. Any trauma or injury obtained within the context of Dash 1 will also manifest in subjects in reality. Sound originating from within Dash 3 can clearly be perceived in reality within a 2 meter radius of Dash 2. Our thirst for knowledge is what advances our civilization, but sometimes it can lead us too far. Remember the old saying, curiosity killed the cat. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like and share, if you would. Until next time, farewell. Mimetic Kill Agent activated.